This first of three presentations on simple linear regression gives a brief overview of the concepts and Pat will be at Purdue University Northwest. So the main question here is why regression? What does it do for us? You can view it as a mathematical model that tells a story about the relationship, keyword relationship, between variables. In the case of a simple linear regression, we deal only with two variables. And for simplicity, we're going to call those two variables y and x, x and y, where y is the dependent variable and x is the explanatory or independent variable. Now the dependent variable y is the variable we're interested in learning about. For example, we may be interested in learning about the fuel efficiency of vehicles. X on the other hand is the variable we believe might help explain the behavior or if you like the variation in Y. As an example in this context would be the weight of a vehicle. So we think perhaps that fuel efficiency is influenced by the weight of uh, the automobile. Now by the way, while simple linear regression looks at the relationship between just two variables Y and X, multiple regression examines the relationship between Y and two or more explanatory variables, but that discussion is presented in a different and slightly more advanced video. So a few other examples of simple linear regression inquiries are summarized here. Fuel efficiency, as we noted, can be explained by the size or weight, in this case, of the vehicle. Corporate performance might be a subject you want to learn about, which can be explained by advertising expenses. So perhaps you feel that the more money you spend advertising your product, perhaps your bottom line would go up. Student performance is another, which perhaps might be explained by hours uh, spent studying. Employee salary, how about that? Regressed against educational attainment. So in all cases, you begin uh, by coming up with the dependent variable y. Afterward, you can then think of an independent variable or variables for that matter you believe might uh, explain the behavior of your dependent variable y. So there are five key questions we look to get an answers to when we run a regression. Do we have a relationship between X and Y? That's the fundamental question. And the answer is going to be either a yes or a no. Number two, if the answer is yes, then how are they related? Are X and Y positively related? Or do they have an inverse relationship in that they are negative? So as I illustrate here, this would be a case where X and Y, if you think of them as two individuals where they have uh, their friends, they have a positive relationship. And so they tend to move together in the same direction. On the other hand, they may not like each other. And so they probably tend to move in contrary directions, so to speak. Thirdly, if they are related, either positively or negatively, how much impact does X have on Y? Keep in mind that X is the explanatory variable. That's the variable we believe can help explain the behavior of Y. So if this is X, we want to know, well, how deeply influential is this person over this individual called Y? And for that matter, number four is that impact statistically significant. So again, it's going to be a yes or no answer. So finally, given that a relationship exists between X and Y, what proportion or what percentage of the behavior of Y, if you like, of variation in Y is explained by X? And for this, we're going to be looking for a numerical evidence called goodness of fit. So the regression model, which I show here, is actually the equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus c. For those of you with um, 
some good algebraic background and if you're not familiar with it no worries you're gonna master this puppy and you're gonna enjoy it too I guarantee it so what you see here we show why the dependent variable as a function of X the independent or explanatory variable so these are the two variables in this model and E here, this epsilon term here, is regarded as a random error term because it captures certain behaviors of y that are not explained by what x does. So now, importantly, here are the two parameters of this model. Parameters serve as descriptors that help explain the nature of a relationship beta sub 0 right here is the y-intercept and in its simplest form tells us what the value of y would be when x is 0 because given that this term doesn't amount to a hill of beans if x is 0, 0 times beta 1 would be 0 and so we're left with this so y is going to be equal to this and so we call it the y-intercept now the most important parameter here or the more important of the two is beta 1 which is the slope coefficient, the coefficient of x and this beta 1 the coefficient of x is going to tell us the um, weight of impact that x has on y for example, if beta 1 comes out to be 2, then it tells us that when x moves around, the impact on y is twice as much. If it's 0, then x really has no impact on y and we can't conclude that there is a we cannot conclude that that there is a relationship. So, this is the simple linear regression model consisting of the systematic component which is the y-intercept and the slope parameter multiplied by x and the random component which is the component unexplained by the um, linear relationship between y and x. So to help us understand how that works we're going to use this example right here which shows the hypothesized relationship between fuel efficiency measured by miles per gallon of a vehicle and the weights of that vehicle for example here vehicle number one weighs 2100 pounds and gives you 35 miles to the gallon coming down here to vehicle number eight uh, it weighs 2600 pounds and gives you 28 miles per gallon so we're gonna go to spreadsheet right now and we're gonna run this regression and give it a full measure of interpretation in the next video.